What's up, everybody? I'm Augie. And I'm Dylan. And this is the, the Totally Top, Top Secret Dylan, Dylan and Augie Project. Well, we've got top secret access to all things Lego Dimensions. And we're gonna share it with you. Because we're cool like that. Super cool like that. Super. Super. Today we're gonna be talking about the Lego toy pad that comes in your Lego Dimensions starter pack. We're gonna show you how to activate epic features like scale, locate, and shift, so you can impress all your friends and the ladies. <sighs> what? I showed my mom. Of course you did. So now you have your Lego starter pack which comes with Wild Style, Batman, and Gandalf minifigs. As well as the Lego toy pad. So, let's take a look at two new amazing fun packs in... 10, Ten Seconds of Awesome! Elemental Master of Water. It's Naya. Ninjago's most powerful ninja. Aided by her trusty samurai mech. From the Land of Oz comes the high-flying, monkey-training, enemy of all things happy, the Wicked Witch of the West. And her flying monkey. <laughs> Remember not to dip her in water. <laughs> I've never taken a bath in my life! The Lego toy pad can hold up to seven characters. You already have Batman, Wildstyle, and Gandalf. So now you can add the Wicked Witch, Naya, and two more vehicles. All right, Augie, it's time. What time? Time to show them what they can do when you activate the Lego toy pad special modes. Yes! You are going to love this. Ninja Smoke Bomb! <laughs> Augie! When you're playing through each level of LEGO Dimensions, you'll need to use the LEGO Toy Pad to solve puzzles. You'll have to physically move the minifigs around the LEGO Toy Pad to make things happen in the game. Here are three different ways that you can use the LEGO Toy Pad to solve puzzles. The first one is called Shift. When you activate Shift, it opens up rifts all around the level that match the colors on your Toy Pad. If you want to come out the red rift, you have to move your character to the red zone on your toy pad. And... Presto! You're in a secret area. The next trick is scale. Scale is a way of making your characters bigger and smaller, so you can get through tiny places or inflict mass destruction. Just move your character on the toy pad and boom, you're tiny Batman or giant Batman. Which is scary. Finally, there's Locate. Locate helps you find hidden items. It's like a game of stoplight. Red means stop and green means go. As you get closer to the item, your toy pad turns green. But if you're going the wrong way, it turns red. So that's shift, scale, and locate. Three of the five Lego toy pad modes represented by the keystones. You earn keystones by completing levels in the game. And to defeat Lord Vortech, you'll need to earn all the keystones. So what did we learn today? That the Lego toy pad isn't just a place to rest your minifigs. It's a part of the game. Well, that's it for this episode. We'll see you next time on the Totally Top Secret Dylan and Augie Project. Where we'll be back with more super secret access to LEGO Dimensions awesomeness. Wait, don't go. We'll miss you. Please, please, we get so lonely. So lonely. So subscribe for more episodes. And make sure to share with your friends.